Hello, my beautiful introspective bug friends. I wanted to chat a bit about the project I've been working on for quite some time by this point. I hope you stick around to learn about my bonker science communication project, the Metamorphosis Tarot Deck, the only tarot deck that will have a reference section and match legit bug biology to tarot meetings. So how did we get here? Great question. Especially because I'm a scientist and I like tarot. Well, I started this project kind of on a whimsy about four or five years ago. A friend was just getting into tarot as a means of self-discovery and identifying your inner world. And as someone who struggles with that, like I joke all the time that it takes me five to eight business days to process my feelings or even understand that I have feelings, just connecting to the art of tarot and connecting to just the timeless stories that you of the cards represent really helped me personally explore my inner world that that's all it is to me tangible art and i love it so i quickly fell in love with tarot as a tool for self-reflection and journaling practices and understanding my inner world in a way that I could use art that isn't just looking at something hanging on the wall. So as I was learning about the tarot cards and the stories that they represent, I jokingly said to my friend, <laughs> I should make a bug deck and match, you know, bugs and their biology to the meanings of the cards. And my friend was like, yeah, yeah, you should. Stares pointedly. Okay, okay, point taken. So I drew a few cards here and there. I'm not formally trained as an artist by any means and I had no idea what I was doing or what medium I wanted to use. And so after just doing a few cards, the task seemed so daunting. Sure, it was fun to think of strength as the Hercules beetles because, you know, they're named after Hercules and Hercules is strong. <laughs> or the Luna moth that I used for the moon. But what was I going to do for abstract ideas like loss, devastation, betrayal, creativity, people who create safe spaces, possibilities, emotional intelligence. So for the first few years with not a great understanding of art or tarot, I just drew a few cards here and there. And as I'm flipping through this, you can tell the ones that I did first because they're in colored pencil and very simplistic and not very great in my opinion. That's why they're drafts. We learned and grew in this journey. Anyway, but then the pandemic hit and I was like, but what if the deck was becoming more than just an abstract idea and it nagged in the back of my mind? I'd be outside and bam, have an idea like, well, if wands represent fire in the tarot deck, it would be so fun to tell the stories of the wands with chemically defended insects. And then I could go into detail about the different chemicals that they're using, how they work, fighting against predators, or even just like antifreeze and protecting them against freezing temperatures. But then inevitably I'd get frustrated with my lack of artistic talent and the enormity of the project and it sat. Again, I would just do another card here and there when inspiration struck. By the start of last year, I had half the deck done, about maybe a little less than half perhaps. And then I'm not really sure what happened. I was like, I am enjoying the process, which is a revelation for me. Normally I enjoy the results, but this time I was having a lot of fun with the process, not just the creative process of bringing these bugs to life but also telling the stories in a way that I think hasn't been done before. Sure, some cards make sense, the moon is still the Luna Moth, but I found some really interesting and unique stories. Like, for example, the Ace of Swords is a parasitic wasp that pries open the jaws of an antlion and lays an egg on the antlion's throat, where the antlion is slowly consumed, completely overwhelmed by a predator that that is less than a quarter of its size just because those huge jaws don't allow it to remove the predator because it's literally on its throat. Or, for example, for the Nine of Wands that represents the last stand, I depicted this using termites that blow themselves up to defend their colony. Literally, these old granny termites just go out and blow themselves up on whatever happened to get too close, ants, other termites, literally whatever. I ended up learning a lot and not only enjoyed improving my art, but learned about some of these unique stories, some of which unfortunately didn't make it into the deck. 
So here we are, all 78 drafts are done. Each card carefully matched the bug in reference to its natural history, biology, or mythology, which was a really fun way to explore not just the bug's natural history, but like actual human history as well. For example, the sun card was represented by a honeybee and depicts the story of the Egyptian sun god Ra when he cried and his tears landed in the desert sands, becoming honeybees, which was a representation of the wealth and power of Egypt. For the king of pentacles, I chose to talk about actual history with the cochineal insect and the rise and fall of the industry that was perpetuated by Spain and made Spain really powerful and wealthy. To represent heartbreak, I depicted literally when early settlers would shoot the biggest butterfly in the world, the Alexandria's bird wing butterfly, would shoot it out of the sky with literal actual shotguns. What? In this journey, my art has gotten a lot better and I've decided to paint the cards in gouache, a technique that I'm recently diving into and loving so much. A few of the drafts I've done in gouache and it really captures vibrantly the mood of the card and just what I was looking for. This year, I will be bringing all of the cards out of my notebook and into vibrant paintings and I'm excited to take you along on this journey. I am hoping to kickstart it and it will come with the deck, obviously, but also a thick guidebook talking about not just the symbolism of the card, but the insect's story. I really do think this will be the only tarot deck in the world that will have scientific references attached to each page. I'm hoping with this endeavor that one, it helps science-minded people maybe explore their inner world and maybe in a way they haven't thought of before. To reiterate, I don't think tarot tells the future. I think it's a way for us to relate to age-old stories and art and help us explore internally. And two, to get science out to people who may not actively be looking to consume it. And three, and maybe m the most important, as someone with ADHD, I never thought that I could complete a long-term project. So if nothing else, this is proof to me that I can do things for the long haul. Thanks for listening to my unconventional thoughts and ideas. I hope you'll continue to stick around as I bring each of these cards to life and fully explore their complicated and beautiful stories.